mixed media tutorial for calico collage here and I'm working in a B6 mixed media insert with a really interesting green. I don't remember what I made this color uh, paint for but it was leftover paint and I don't like to waste paint so I spread it on these two pages in this notebook. I do that quite often. Um, so I have a lot of background well not necessarily backgrounds but I have a lot of pages with just you know paint sitting there waiting to be turned into something magical so I had this green and I took this script stencil and I used some black paint and sponged that through and I'm over there in the bathroom washing the stencil or soaking it in water or something really quick because I didn't want the paint to sit on that um, it's really important that you clean your your stencils when you're doing mixed media or throw them in a thing of water or something so that everything doesn't stick to it. I'm really weird uh, in the sense that I love making a mess a mess with mixed media but I really like to try and keep my tools as clean as possible. I don't know why. I know some people you see them in their stencils are like thousands of different colors. Um, I can't function that way. I don't know why. So then I grabbed this uh, texture paste by Faber Castell is like this pearlescent color and yeah I need to like just give this to my daughter or something because I did not like it at all um, I will definitely not be using it again and uh, that's that's okay so I used another stencil here and it's a Prima stencil and I really like the way that pattern turned out and again I went to go you know dump that in the thing of water really quick and then I'm gonna dry this I did like the fact that it dried fairly quickly so that was good so that I could continue to move on with my project in real time this whole thing took me like 20 minutes and I felt so good after you know being creative I always feel so good after I've done something creative and you see me uh, over there just checking to make sure that my uh, piece from calico collage will fit um, I will leave a link down below to her shop where you can get this. There's like little witches cards and they are so adorable and awesome and vintagey looking. I love them so much. And you can see on that card that I also distressed all of the edges. Uh, I really like doing that. I like things to look like that. So I did that. And then I have this other piece from the Hollowed Gothic kit and that fit perfectly there I just had to snip off the butterfly wings and I was cool with that then what I'm doing here and I know I'm off screen and I'm sorry for that but I got some cheesecloth and I stretched that out and I really like the way that looked um, underneath my elements and I put some on the left side as well but not like under the whole thing just on one side and I really really like the way those um, Kind of just brought like everything together and then you're gonna see me glue everything down with my absolute favorite 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 glue which is a Fabri-Tac glue I had this ampersand laying around on my desk and I really like the way that looked and I'm just gonna literally glue everything down you also see on my desk laying there now I have two oranges I have like a fluorescent so orange from um, Artist Loft and the Dina Wakely Tangerine Orange and I'm just going to bring in another color here because I really felt like it needed something else like it wasn't complete so I just add some highlights of the orange and um, then we call this spread done so if you're looking for ways to complete your mixed media you know backgrounds or your pages the elements from calico collage are a great way to just add that something they are an awesome focal point and if you're into vintage they are even better because i love vintage stuff so i absolutely love working with all of these things there you go you see me grabbing that orange and i grabbed a really kind of stiff flat brush for this part um because i really wanted to have a lot of control again it's a cheap brush you know, I have some expensive brushes, but not for this type of stuff. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out Calico Collage and let me know what you think of my mixed media spread. Bye.